But this is all right, Trash Squad. As you can see, they got this machine gray thing over here with the chrome rims. I really like this gray, man. I, li I really like what they're doing with this gray. They got the screen up in there. This is a Charger SXT Plus. Let me see what they want. They want 35 for this bad boy. It's fully loaded. Got the leather seats in here. Real spacious. Love the steering wheel. What else they got up in this thing? They ain't got no SRT mode, but they got the screen in here. Like I said, they got the leather seats. No sunroof. Basic stereo system, but this is pretty much like a limited. I guess that's what that NXT means. Pretty standard grill. They also got this white thing over here. I don't know if this is scat pack or not. I could have sworn I seen a badge. Yeah, this is not a scat pack. But they don't got no badges on it. But it still looks fire. I love the scoop. I love the hood scoop. I love the lip on the front. I love the rims, man. They ain't even black. You notice that. It ain't even black. You feel me? Look a little gray right there. This is a 2021 Dodge Challenger. I love the Challengers too because they so big body. Now this one got cloth, as you can see. They got that do not roll down the window, so that means they just put some tents on this bad boy. But they put factory tents though. But I like this. They got the little cloth. I really don't like this design. It looked too cheesy for me. But it got a screen in here as well. Got sport mode. Let me let me get up in there so y'all can see. This one got sport mode. They don't got no badges or nothing like that. But it got sport mode. Heated side mirrors. No sunroof. Like I say, it got the rims. You get the rims. You get the lip in the back with the backup camera. Got the dual pipes. And like I say, it's tinted. They just got a tinted, and then you got the all black charger rt with the dual pipes you see them big old pipes right there got the wing on the back this one that tinny got the same rims on there they want 41 for this this is a 2021 charger rt black top i wonder why they call it a black top because even the badge that says hemi is black got the side skirts right there black the wing black everything about this thing is black even the badge in the front, that's black. It's pretty dope. Then you got the Daytona edition right here. I don't know if y'all can see it because the light really messing up my visuals today. All right, so we got the burgundy thing with that hammy on the hood. It's fully functional. This is a little bit more tougher than a black one but the black one did have a little hood scoop okay but it's a daytona it's a totally different vehicle same vehicle but not really same setup that was an rt this is a daytona total difference probably in the performance and i can't really get into it i mean i could really read the paper on the side of the vehicle but that might just take a little bit too much work all we got to know is this is forty six thousand. Again, they got challengers and chargers all through this bad boy. I'm going to just keep showing you the same cars back to back. Just ba See, this one is a scat pack. Basically, what I can tell you, they got all different flavors. No matter what color you want. If you want a sunroof, you want it all black. Pretty much all of them got a screen in it. They got good prices. This one is a 51000 for a 2021 RT scat pack. As you can see, got the badge right there. You can't go wrong. Then you got the, like I say, they got that machine gray with the black badges on there. That's pretty tough. I really like this 392 Hemi Charger they got, this scat pack. They want 50 grand for this bad boy. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, if I did buy one of these, 
I would have to get a four door scat packs top of the line. See, you almost to a you almost dead. You almost got a Hellcat. Got so many. They got Silverados. They got Honda Preludes. They got Dodge Rams. They got Durango SRT over there. Oh man, they got a wide body. See, we're gonna leave all these alone. Cause I ain't seen no wide bodies. But guess what? This red, orange, mango thing right here. I'm gonna call it the little mango. Got the little scat pack. The rims feel like they bigger. They more concave in this bad boy. I like that. Got the black fuel cap. Scat pack. It's something about the wide body, man. It just does something to the car, man. And then you gotta love the hood scoops, man. Factory, man. Again, 2021. Challenger RT Scat Pack Wide Body. Let me just see what this is, see if I can afford it. This 50. So you can get the wide body for 50. You can either get a wide body or you can get the slim body. It's up to you, but I get the wide body. I'm just sorry. It's just it's just something else. It just adds more aggression to it. It's more aggressive. I feel like it's set up more too with the suspension. It kind of looked like it set up more. But you can tell these wheels concave a lot more. And this one is open as well. Okay. SRT when to load up. No cap. Got the scat pack on the seats. I just really don't agree with the cloth, man. I feel like if you're going to spend 50 grand, you might as well get something that's worth it. You feel me? 392 right there. That's pretty dope. Like I say, I cop this bad boy for 50. They got some nice rims on there. Let me let me lock the door the right way. All right. I wouldn't want nobody to come out here try to test drive it and they don't have no power. They got infinity trucks. Got a little bit of everything. I'm just tired of looking at these challenges. They even got a great one right there. That great one hard. That blue one kind of looked purple a little bit when the sun hit it because you see this blue too it's a whole different kind of blue but it's something about that wide body but you know i would have to get that yellow not that yellow i would have to get that orange thing dang this thing look a beast y'all see it like i see it this thing is a beast all black things so this one don't got the sunroof i wonder will they cut some money off the the ticket price since they don't got a sunroof. I'm sorry, this bad boy hard. See, I need to stay over here where the sun ain't. So it's the 392 RT. I love how they got the Challenger and Cursive right there. It just looks so big body. It, look, it really do look wide body from the front. It really add more to it with that wide body versus this one. It just does something different. Even feel, I even feel like it sits higher. Y'all let me know. It do look like it sit high. Probably one don't got air in the tires. We don't know. But shoot, we out here, man. They got another all white wide body. Got a blue one, a navy blue one over here. You know, I like the navy blue. They got that. But I really want to go check out that SRT Durango. But this bad boy hard. Let's check the price. I like to check price to see what it is. 50 grand. So 50 grand gets you a 21. Be out here doing big things but i really like this gray srt right here i like how they got the the little the beehive right there and it says srt so when it'll light up that'll be something magnificent to see i see as the two on the four i wonder what that means y'all let me know 2021 dodge durango it doesn't say it's a Hellcat, it's just the SRT. Yep, it's a 392. Big boy wheels on there. That thing looks so clean. Got that same kind of hood scoop the other on um, the RTs had. But as you can see, a 21 SRT, 11,000 miles on there. I think that's kind of high for a 21, but I mean, it must be pre owned. 392 Hemi, you can't go wrong. Even got a sunroof. I love these, man. My dad should have went ahead and upgraded and got another one. Got the SRT. Remember, the, the 21s have the SRT 
on the Brembo's. The 20s and others, it just say Brembo's. So that's some, that's a unique detail they added to it. Got the turn the signal lights right there. This thing looks, see, ooh, boy. All right, see what I'm talking about? All right, see, that's how I say you knew somebody had it before you see the cracks in the leather. They didn't take no, they didn't take no care of their seats, man. It's supposed to look like that. But as soon as I open it up, boy, top of the line, got the harmon cut on. You got the white stitching right here, y'all. I love the craftsmanship. I love the material that they chose to use on the door handle. I love how it's illuminated. You see how it lights up right there. You got the chrome pedals. You got the big screen. Like I said, you got to have a big screen. So they got the big screen. Let me hit the button, see if that thing come on. Nah, they ain't going to let it come on. Man, these seats feel so good. I'm not going to lie to you. This Alcatel is the truth, man. This, this is the suede of the suede. It's top of the line. Got the SRT and the seats. This thing's so comfortable. I would cop that bad boy. That's no cap. Then it's spacious in the back. I mean, it's, I mean, you could probably move the seat back or something like that. Because I know my kids, they'll be having a fit. They hopped in this bad boy seat. Right now, I can't figure out how to move the seat back. But as you can see, they do have a third row. And even the passengers in the back get the same kind of comfort that you get with the SRT stitching on the seats, the Argatair on the seats, premium stitching, and the leather to go along with it. But you see how I don't got no cracks in that? I'm pretty sure somebody can fix that. But you gotta, when you, when you got leather in your, your, your vehicle, you gotta take care of it. You gotta treat it a certain kind of way. You know what I'm saying? It's like lotions. It's like leather lotions that they have for these type of vehicles. You know what I'm saying, y'all. All right, everybody. I was trying to show y'all a grand Cherokee. I believe I showed y'all before. But it looks like somebody purchased this one already. It's 71000 for a grand Cherokee Summit 4x4. This is a brand new model. It's a 2022. And if you notice, it's very well lifted. You see the gap in there? You could fit some 26 and some 28s up in there. So I'm not sure if somebody lifted this vehicle already or what's going on. Ooh. But this is what I'm talking about. When it comes to Grand Cherokees, they do not play. Even in the older models, they do not play. It's the upper echelon. Like, for real, for real. Like, Durango ain't even hitting this hard. But we're going to go... I'm, I'm going to give you a brief description. I'm going to show you what's going on, man. You got the chrome right here, the wood grain, and then you also got this leather right here. I mean, this is some good leather, my guy. And then they don't even got the Harmon cut on. They got the McKesson, Macintosh. I'm sorry, I said the McKesson oh, for some reason. You got the Summit right here that actually illuminates and lights up when you start the vehicle. This is fully automatic or automated, however you want to call it. They even got the brown stitching on the steering wheel. I don't know if you guys can see that. With the wood grain. Come on, dog. I wouldn't even buy a Durango. I'm not going to lie. They even got the big roof in there. I don't know if y'all can see that, boy. Diamond stitching. I'm talking about, man, they went crazy. I see why it's 71. Got the heated seats. I love them heated seats, man, because if it's cold and chilly in the morning, especially if you up north, you need them heated seats. Look at the big screen. Look how glossy and black everything is. Boom. Brand new, I'm telling you. I don't think nobody even drove this yet. But you got to love it, man. No key fob in this thing. They even put the speakers up here that say McKesson right here. Extra. Pay extra attention to detail. And I wonder if them pop up like the Kia Souls did in the video with the hamster. You got the gloss black right here. You got the big screen right there. Like I say, man, I love big screens, boy. And then they got a big screen right there. And then they just got that shiny old thing over there. But, like, pay attention to the detail and the craftsmanship. It's only two rows. But look at the craftsmanship. Storage space. Cup holders right there. See, everything just closed back up and looks so nice and elegant. And then, of course, this is the shifters. 
They got this is four wheel drive. You name it. You name it. This is the one. I wasn't even trying to look at this bad boy. Sixty thousand base model. I wonder if the base model got all these features. And then you come back here in the back. You got the net so you can push your papers and things like that. Even the climate control in the back. You got two USBs, and then you also got a C-type down there. Now, for a lot of you guys like me that have the C-type, you need that. Because a lot of older cars don't have that, but they still got the USB feature. That's excellent. You can just plug it directly in there. And then it has climate control for the rear. Even had the heated seat features. Yo, I might have to invest. Cop one of these. Put on some 26s or something and go crazy. 4x4 four four, Summit Edition. Put some tests on there and go crazy. Dual exhaust. Thing already sitting high. Even got the camera right here. I don't know if y'all can see that, man. They integrated that right there, man. They made it. Do what it do. And then you got the TRX over here. It don't even have the decal on the side, so I really didn't even know it was a TRX until now. But this is the Black Dot Edition. This is a 4x4 four four TRX. You see they got the little lights right there? Yeah. Pay attention to the detail, man. Look how much space you got in the TRX. So if you got to put like a shelf or a twin bed, you can do it right here. Lift the seat up and make it happen, man. I'm pretty sure it's a button or something. I don't want to squish my fingers, but I'm pretty sure it's a button. But look how much room you got in the TRX. It's like a bed, like real, no cap. If you ain't had no place to stay, you lay a blanket in the pillow right there and you good. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to have the footsteps. Because it's too damn hard to be trying to get up in this bad boy. As you can see, they got the Agatar suede in here. They got the little chrome. They got the little heavy duty metal design right there. Big TRS screen up in here. Love the suede on the armrest. Then they got the old man leather right here. Ooh, this like the alligator leather. Ooh. TRX right there going crazy with the leather. Ram, ram down there. Got to represent for that ram. Big screen in this bad boy, man, because that's what they do. TRX and all that extra good stuff. Push start, you feel me? So, man, if you've been working hard and you feel like you're in charge and you got a couple dollars that you trying to spend, Go ahead, treat yourself. Don't beat yourself. Shout out to my boy, Paul Tommy, man. He told me himself, man, don't don't work so hard and don't treat yourself. 6.2 liter supercharged. Going crazy. Going nasty, man. Doing real big things. Look at the wheels, man. It don't get no better than that. I'm not really a fan of this Porsche. I've seen better. But the C8 with the white leather seats, I'm loving it. The Hellcat, all-wheel drive, I'm loving that. They doing real big things out here. And even if you don't want to get the Hellcat, the Rango, they got the SRT, man. You can still do big things. They got the Wagoneers sitting so pretty and so clean. Somebody out here right now cleaning them. So they got a lot of things going on. They even got the Benzes over there. They got a lot more challenges and charges over there. So they got a lot going on. 